Hi, I'm Silvio. Finally, another Lamax item review. More precisely, another lighter building review. <laughs> and this is the famous building I told you I wanted to add to my arbor section, my pier section, dock section, I don't know how to call it, of my 2021 Christmas Village project. You may have noticed that this is not as a natural Lamax packaging, as a natural Lamax box. Uh, and simply because this item, this building, is an old building. It has almost 20 years. Um, obviously, it's not a new item because it is also a rare item. Uh, and it, uh, it is pre-owned and I bought it from a Dutch seller, from a private Dutch seller. Uh, it has been produced in 2004 up to 2006, so just two years of production. That makes it a very rare item. Um, not standard packaging, I was telling you why. Simply because at that time, 2004, e-commerce wasn't that developed as today. So no need to have a very solid packaging, a very solid box because uh, almost all the Lemax items were sold inside the physical store. Nowadays, 99% of the Lemax products uh, are sold online, so they need to have a solid box, otherwise during transport with couriers, box uh, risk to break and the item itself risk to be damaged. My personal experience, I had uh, another item, my Golden Eagle boat from the same collection and it came from the US this time with the package, up, the same exact packaging uh, crashed and the item itself was damaged, a little damaged. How was built the packaging? Like this one, okay? So Lemax here with a window here, uh, a window on the front uh, to let you see to it and judge if the building or the product was good enough for you. What is this item? This item is uh, uh, Lemax Hidden Cove Seaside Retreat. It is item number 45068 and it is not from Caddington Collection but it is from Plymouth collection, so not a Victorian era collection, but a New England modern collection. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the packaging. Obviously, from the back side, the um, picture of the uh, building itself, Plymouth corners, uh, Maison Eclair en Porcelain, Porcelain Lighted House, Lemax Village collection. So, Lemax Village collection was there, no differentiation between. Uh, box colors from one collection to another and just simply notice here that this is a Plymouth Corners with uh, the logo there with a both here. From one side Maison et Clérion Porcelain Hidden Cove Seaside Retreat so even at that time the name was uh, marked on the uh, box itself item 45068 Fabriquet en Chine so uh, made in China and just take a look here at this little tape here, put it on top of something. Uh, you can see it, but I, uh, I can see through it with uh, avec cordon. So this is the French version, uh, the English version with uh, six foot, 183 centimeters cord plus on off switch. So this was uh, covered with uh, tape. That means that inside the box there was no cord, no power cord, no AC adapter at all. At that time there were two different versions of uh, building. One with uh, uh, power cords, so with AC adapters uh, with a higher price and one without cords, without power, uh, power cord or AC adapters. Uh, 
nothing more explained here. No more not is nothing else as today, because today uh, they need to be um, precise. They need to follow precisely the law of uh, e-commerce. So everything was need today need to be marketed on the packaging. So e EAN code here for the product made in China distributed by USA Lemax. So at that time, there were USA Lemax, there were Canada, but not a Lemax Canada um, uh, depot because there was only on USA Lemax Incorporated. In Canada, it was, Lemax was distributed by Carillon Decorative Products Incorporated and in Europe by Edelman BV. So there were no local Lemax um, uh, distributors in every country as uh, countries as uh, today. So, but in Europe, it still was from the Netherlands, there, Canada, and USA. Mainly in China, but only distributed in those three, uh, in all over Europe, Canada or USA. Nowadays, um, Lemax products are all over the world, okay? So just 20 years ago, Lemax products weren't that um, famous or uh, haven't that expansion as today's. Nothing less from the, uh, from the outside box. Let's open the box, very simple box. Um, so the, as I told you, this has been pre-owned, so no new item there. So this is not the first time. And obviously this as uh, today is uh, the CA, CE um, mark there need to be printed on each and single one of the packaging. This was applied with a sticker because a product, if you want to um, sell them in Europe, you need to have the CE compliant uh, mark. So. Uh, different things by that time. What I have here in uh, the little bag, here you have a boat, uh, a wine direction boat and a little bell that I will add uh, in some time. Box itself, item 45068 from this side. So no up and down as today's modern boxes and another time Lemax 45068. Very simple to open just put on one side and pull just be careful and voila came out from the box itself i will do a complete review of the item uh, just here in just some seconds with uh, my always detailed reviews uh, the wind direction arrow will be there and the bell will go there on the main entrance, okay? So, hidden cove, hidden cove retreat. It is missing seaside retreat, okay? But anyway, a little hunker there, uh, a little tire here, some, uh, something more, some uh, seagulls and everything else, okay? I will do a full review in just some seconds. But the seller has been very kind and sent me also a power cord. Look up how different power cords were. So this is with CE marked on, on it. Sorry, CE, so comply, Europe compliant. This is not, uh, it has not a 20 years, of course, because they weren't made uh, as this. This is only for European uh, voltage, so 230 volts, 50 hertz, 12 volt of output, 300 milliamps. Uh, a little notice here concerning how to use it, but look at the, uh, at the, um, at the switch here. Obviously, it is not uh, marked as Lemax here. This is marked as Ting Shen. 
this is a Chinese, an, an old Chinese company that were, that was producing uh, components for uh, Lemax. But also, please look at the light bulb here, completely different, completely outlaw today, because this is a filament a light bulb. So they are completely outlaws today because they, mm, they produce too much heat and more than 50% of the power absorbed by the light bulb, it is wasted in uh, heat creation. In, uh, so very, very, very outlaws today. Uh, let me just uh, <clears throat> uh, plug it into the sector and let me show you how different was the light okay very very hot no very very uh, um, yellow light so m much more yellow than uh, today's led uh, lamps that are used inside each and single one of the uh, products but it has it was very different today is if you break one of the led for a modern uh, building you need to go and replace uh, the bulb from a spare part from lemax but that day is you and it is already hot the bulb is already hot you could simply unscrew the la the, la the light bulb go to a general store a general hardware store and buy another of these mini mini bulb there and just simply screw it back sorry it is hot screw it back in it and it will work so this is also standard uh, standard um, plug for a lighter building okay uh, but the bulb and also here there is not a real on off but you need to turn constantly around each time you hear a click, it is on. Another click, it is off. But you can't go backwards, just in one direction. So uh, one click on, one click off, one click on, one click off. But not one click in one direction on and one click in another direction off because it doesn't go in, in both direction. Very strange at that time. So uh, I have this uh, power cord here. I will not use. <laughs> entirely because I'm too green today but I want the same kind of lights inside each and single one of my buildings so I will use a modern um, light a modern LED light bulb inside it I don't have it I will need to buy a, a spare one because nowadays all the buildings came with their original power cords and AC adapter or 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 batteries adapter this is very different uh, this is an old generation i haven't shown you the downside of it it is clearly marked i don't want to break anything because this is a rare item or item sorry i don't know if you can see lemax 2004 so first year of production of this i building rare item and no I haven't done anything, it's simply, it does simply detach it from the hole there. And uh, not entirely uh, Victorian era because of the tire here, but the rest, even if uh, late Victorian era, um, in late Victorian era, uh, tires were also uh, present, uh, auto tires, so uh, car tires, this is a modern car tires. Uh, but the rest everything else was present at that time so a little aspect there but i will do a full review in just some seconds and obviously the full review of item 45068 hidden cove seaside retreat a lighted building from lemax uh, plymouth corners collection not exactly a caddington collection here not exactly a victorian era collection because Plymouth Corners is set in a modern New England, but the buildings are very similar, not that different. And the difference is at the level of figurines. Plymouth Corners has very, very modern figurines, very modern dressed figurines. So if you are used to set your Christmas village in a Victorian era, don't use um, Plymouth Corners. Uh, figurines.
but with the buildings you can go ahead. Uh, produced from 2004 to 2006, so just two years between production and retirement. Very rare item because it has 20 years and 20 years ago uh, e-commerce wasn't so developed and Lemax wasn't so present in Europe. So I had the luck to find a Dutch reseller, a Dutch private seller, sorry, that had it on sale. Be why? Simply because Lemax even 20 years ago was very known in Netherlands uh, because they have a long tradition of Kerstdorp and the Kerstdorp are their traditional Christmas villages. So from uh, Netherlands, uh, the invasion of uh, Lemax, the invasion of Europe from Lemax took place from there. Yeah, so I got very lucky to find this item. So let me go full screen there with this, okay, full screen. And let's have, as always, a couple of, uh, of turn around the building, okay? This is right side, this is left, uh, back side, left side, and front side. One more time, then I will stop here, from the back as usual. Where do I start from? From the roof. Very top of the roof, weather vane or wind vane here, gold, very beautiful here, uh, sailing ship with the arrow here, the, all gold. Uh, very, very suited for a seaside building. The roof here, uh, tiling, the tiles are perfect, brown, and I'm sorry if they seem a little too white, but uh, the images were overexposed to light. Uh, it happens, guys. But the tiles are perfectly irregular, perfectly European, perfectly uh, brown, as they should be. And just a little thing here, you can appreciate that you have a little curve here on the roof. This building is designed and made in China. So the ancient, uh, the, their ancient roof were all covered like this. I already told you many times. So uh, I can't prevent them uh, to build buildings like that. But hey, this is... A building that has 20 years, almost 20 years, so um, very different times by then. Uh, the chimney here, uh, the chimney, this is the front chimney, I will uh, talk about it when I will um, go with the front view here, the chimney from the back uh, side here. A little projected towards the left here, a little curved here. But I love, and it is very beautiful to have a plain yellow uh, chimney with some gray and orange stones protruding from it. Top is gray and bottom is also uh, gray there. So very special uh, chimney there. Let me go maybe from this side because the... Uh, the perspective wasn't showing you the top of the chimney there with some black ending there. A little damage here because this is a pre-owned item, obviously, uh, but I like it anyway. Let's go with the back here. And uh, the, the top level here, the top floor here is, uh, uh, is a pure wood, so even the wall here is a pure wood painted in white. As always, from the back, uh, pure essential fake windows here around the fake window here, uh, squared, almost a squared uh, fake window, another long vertical fake window, and uh, a little window here on, on the uh, cellar, on the cave uh, level there with some bars, because hey, I don't want anyone to steal from my cellar. Uh, first floor was here completely brick walls with some uh, gray and orange stone protruding the same as the with the chimney a big room here delimited by another room there uh, with wood the wood here is delimiting the uh, walls and uh, uh, 
the floor and uh, and the ceiling there okay so squared uh, squared this one is a little uh, less taller than this room here maybe the here we have two rooms i don't know and then here the big round hole for the uh, light bulb there very simple very regular uh, back uh, back side here and also here just appreciate how much snow they have put on top of the roof i love winter uh, buildings with plenty plenty of snow on top of the roof uh, here too on the side here some more snow here and there some more snow okay so very very big amount of snow everywhere uh, and that's all I think from the back side. Yes, that's all. Let's go from this side. Yes, from this side. Full screen. Here, the chimney with the two handing. Another chimney here because the side here uh, is divided in two sections. One um, narrow section here, one narrow room here on the left, and one um, larger room here on the right. Genius here, the same roof, not genius, obviously the same inclination of the roof, not genius, but here a little black anchor here um, hang, hanging on the yellow wall there, genius for a seaside building. Also some more orange and grey stones, a real window there, but this time you can appreciate also and here too that they have put some plastic behind the windows. Nowadays they and don't use it to apply plastic anymore but at that time it was very common uh, so here on ah, yes a pelican here on top of a rock here near the the sea near the water here genius genius and the pelican here i can show you the pelican here let's go and see appreciate the pelican here absolutely wonderful then from the right side another time this is a small around uh, real window here and this is maybe this is the not the top floor because i think this is the top floor here with another room here on top of everything with another real window gray window uh, this is the biggest uh, window i've ever seen on a uh, Christmas uh, building on a, on a Lamax building and I need to know, to point out that there are no stores for closing the window nowadays all the buildings have stores to close the uh, for the night to close the window for the night by then there were no store maybe inside but generally you use the stores outside so no store for closing the window uh, at night a big round mistletoe wreath there with a red ribbon and another real window pointing to the table to the cellar with some bars here two vertical bars and two horizontal bars some more rocks here and the same color yellow gray uh, orange blue very astonishing colors okay so perfectly done from this side let's go from the other side oops uh, let's go there another chimney there and another chimney another chimney here also this is the small one very gold and this is the same chimney as before uh, with just one ending there not two uh, there's no here and then i'm not perfectly there and another area around the, the uh, window here uh, maybe a small room there Another big uh, mm, uh, uh, squared window with some uh, uh, food on top of it. And please appreciate here you have uh, some remaining of the brush they use uh, for painting the building. This makes this building unique. I think no one, no more, <laughs> no, no, no one has the same. <laughs> brush remaining as I have right now so this is unique item uh, another uh, round green uh, mistletoe wreath there with another red ribbon 
uh, and here okay so first floor as always or uh, second level here with the same uh, wooden uh, walls there painted in white and then here another small room here delimited here by the wall the, the, the wood here the vertical pole here and I think this is a small small very very small uh, room or maybe a pantry or something like that so a uh, bigger room than another room here on the front and they are not on the same level here uh, maybe I haven't shown you but also from this side you don't have the same level this is uh, protruding uh, let's say one meter uh, from the rest of the house so for the point of view lateral point of view this is very interesting and the same thing here you don't have the same depth here this is way more uh, deep than this this one and this is a little bit inside one more time so a couple of buoy there uh, white and red one blue and white one here absolutely mobile here you have a I shaped the hook there that you can move them around and absolutely beautiful you can appreciate here on the lateral side of the wooden balusters and the rope and rail and I will come to that in just some second another rounded window with some black bars on top of it uh, and you can appreciate also from the side here the ring bells here on the main entrance but let's go with the main actor here the main entrance and from the top here the um, weather um, vein here the wind vane here in its plain magnificency you cannot you cannot turn it around but you can place it this way or 90 degrees wherever you want the magnificent boat gold boat here the arrow here very very beautiful uh, even from the front side there are different levels here the main roof here another small roof protruding here this is uh, surely this is the porch the, the, the small entrance maybe where you would, would hang the wet uh, uh, the wet uh, dresses the wet coats here just uh, before going ahead this is a retreat guys so the signpost here hidden cove retreat it is missing a seaside okay hidden cove seaside retreat um but it is there with a black sailing boat there some freezes there some victorian already victorian era freezes there or still victorian era because this is uh, uh, modern new england so maybe this is an ancient building for, for them a big long uh, red ribbon there with a bow obviously uh, a ringing bell there on top of the main entrance door let me go this with this view here so very big this is supposed to be the main entrance there and another big gigantic gigantic uh, window with some plastic behind this is i don't know how hublot from a, a sea a modern a boat a modern ship uh, maybe uh, a rescue buoy there mm, i don't know call it whatever you want then an handle here wooden door blue wooden door um, discovered because this is a seaside building and the water and uh, uh, wind and uh, um, everything else is ruining is the coloring everything what well, salted water is very very dangerous for everything cars uh, buildings wood etc the uh, balusters the big wood balusters with rope and rail rope and that's why i use it also for my stairs the same uh, this almost the same technique with uh, wooden balusters and uh, rope and rail uh, a very big amount of windows another round of the window here this is a retreat so a guest house so there is plenty of rooms and that's why you have plenty of windows maybe there one room here another here so two rooms there separated by a small a very tiny wall it needs to have plenty of rooms another room here on top of the floor very tiny uh, real uh, triangular window there a small bow window there squared bow window there another window here and i don't know if i can show you here uh, 
side entry. Oops, let's go this way. Another entrance door there. Okay, you can see it. Another wooden entrance door, not the precise. Yes, this is the good view. Uh, with some another round uh, green uh, mistletoe of red with uh, another uh, red ribbon or red bow there, golden uh, a golden handle here and uh, something else there and here it's a seagull here. Uh, two birds, two different kind of birds, sea birds on this building. This is a seagull. This is a pelican. So two kinds. Very very beautiful even from this point of view here you can appreciate both of them so very very beautiful then two entrance there so see uh, side entrance here a main entrance here on the on the um, first level here and uh, these maybe is the entrance for the dining room for the kitchen i don't know with another um, red bow ribbon here and this is the main entrance for the reception, maybe, and all the all the rooms. But uh, you can also just go ahead and hit something there. A big black anchor here. It's not mobile. It is uh, stuck at the, and uh, glued onto the uh, water here and to the pier there. Some rocks, some water, and uh, some more uh, balusters, wooden balusters, and up. Uh, Please appreciate the rope here on this pier. That's why I'm using so many ropes. A uh, rescue buoy here, a red rescue buoy here with some more ropes around it. Another rope here, uh, another couple of uh, buoy there. The same you have here on the left side. And you have them, that's the same here. A big wooden chair, maybe for um, just looking the panorama, maybe for fishing. And this is pure wood. I don't know if I can show. Yes, you can see that this is, uh, nope. Let's go there, a wooden chair, plain wooden chair. Also dam a little damaged by the weather, I think, but it is a very normal. The only thing that is disturbing me a little bit is this big black car tire. Okay, I know that by the end of uh, Victorian era there were also cars, but they had a very narrow tire. This is a very modern tire and very, very, um, uh, very, very large tire. So it is the only thing that is disturbing me. This is mobile. You can move it up, down, left, right. Okay, not too much because it has also the rope there, also the buoy here. Uh, somehow connected to the pier, to the arbor. Uh, some more water here on the front, uh, some more rocks. That's why I'm putting it where I reserve the spot for it on my uh, C uh, section on my arbor. And not C section as a medical C section, but C as S E A section, please. Uh, arbor section, pier section, dock section. Um, on the left, uh, at, at the left, no, to the left of the uh, medieval uh, building I uh, made. Uh, what else um, do I need to see, say about it? I think I've uh, I've gone with everything. Yes. Do I love this building? Yes, I love this building. Uh, <laughs> simply because I bought it and it is well suited for any. A seaside section of your uh, villages of your uh, project. Um, also here, colors perfect. Uh, uh, small defect here. The, you have no window stores there, and the big black tire. But everything has colors, and, and everything else is perfect. Is perfect ambientation, guys. Uh, nothing to say against this building. It is a twenty year. It is almost 20 years ago building, so um, Lemax was very, very, very modern at that time, and this is perfect uh, uh, even nowadays. Uh, but let's say that 2021 Plymouth Corners collection is not that suited for a Caddington collection or Caddington uh, Victorian era project. And I've said all about it. Yes, let me uh, 
go uh, normal screen there uh, and <laughs> let me have also uh, a closure here with this uh, review it was a long time uh, since my last review but now i can use this building so as always uh, don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful english and the to add many examples of my bad English right now. And if you wish, see you next time.